What is up everybody? How's it going today? Well, welcome back. Um, here's another video. I, again, unfortunately didn't grab the beginning of it. I was a little too late. Um, but I'm on Sea of Thieves and I'm playing the Siren Skull mission. As you see the two blue beams in the sky, both objects are already dug up. I just gotta go get them from wherever they are, or whoever has them, and then turn them in for my 50 grand. So, um, it is a long video. I do apologize. It is edited down from a three-hour session. Um, I will start streaming eventually, but for now I'm just going to do videos. Um, most of the video is sped up at least two times, if up to eight times. Um, so, I'm trying to make it as quick as I can for everybody and still get enough content that you guys know what's actually going on. But I do appreciate it, and thanks for hanging out. So, as you see, I'm just heading towards the beams. I'm getting a little closer. I made it to the island where one's on. It was in front of the bar. So I grabbed it and hid it in the bush. And I noticed there was another player ship. So, you know me, I can't just let that sit there all pristine looking. So I went to have some fun, see if anyone was on it. Decided I was going to try to flood it without putting a hole in it. And just bucket after bucket after bucket after bucket of water. And then I was like, well, maybe the guy's going to show up soon. I should probably do something else to, to break the boat. So I raised his anchor and decided to drive it right into some rocks. And grab some fire bombs, start fire bombing it. Grab some more. boat. Had to eat the heel up as I got catching on fire and crashed into some more rocks. I figured that was pretty good. Boat's gonna, boat's gonna die. I uh, went back, grabbed the key, went back to my ship and as I got there I started noticing a fire. So obviously the other guy that had that boat decided he had the same type of idea. Maybe he noticed his was in much worse shape than mine and went to go try to save it. I'm not sure. Did a little perimeter check for him, trying to find him, can't find him. One last check. Grab the bucket, looked up there. Still can't find him. The boat keeps getting set on fire though, so I'm pretty sure he's somewhere near me. And then I decided to raise anchor and get the hell out. Did my repairs, started heading towards the next beam of light to grab that next piece. Heard blunder bombs, didn't know who it was, took a, a pot shot in the ocean. And said, if I got him out. So lowered sail, hauled ass. Thought everything was going great. And then this happens. But then if you've heard this before, you know exactly what this is. This is the Kraken. Ship. We got 
sadly it was too late. The boat had sunk. So, cut it to where I am now, coming back to where they were, or well, the, where the Kraken was. Um, have to get that piece. Kraken decides to leave. So I'm like, alright, grab it, swim all the way back to my boat, because I can't take a mermaid with something in my hands. And again, this is all sped up. And just get back to my boat, and I get bit by a shark. Take a look around, grab some food. Start heading for that other beam, which would be the chest. I already have the key. And then take off so I don't hit the rocks. And then I have to combine the key and the chest for the end location to show up. And that way I know where I gotta take it. Sad part is everybody that's involved in the mission knows where it's got to go. It is not that swirly cloud, but the one in the distance there. So right now I still show up on the map as having the skull, and everybody knows where I'm going. And lo and behold. Look what I have. Somebody deciding to try to keep me away from cashing in my 50 grand. So, uh, start thinking what should I do? How am I going to do this? There's probably at least two people. And just to make sure that he was actually paying attention to me and not just a coincidence, um, I checked the map a couple times changed my direction a few times and sure enough he was trying to follow me the whole time. And again, I may have been able to cut this out but then you wouldn't actually know what happened and how much effort and time and trickery was put into this but I keep checking the map so now I'm going north he's going north all right you're definitely following me drop anchor hit the 180 raise anchor start sailing the opposite direction I see a, a nice big storm in the distance Raise my sail, check the map. I'm going one way, he's going the other. He's going to have to readjust. So now I do it again, hit another 180, raise my anchor. So I'm really just trying to make this guy think, what the fuck am I doing? But we'll see how it works, how it plays out. I know I don't want to go directly to the island because I won't make it. I have to be somewhat strategic with this. I'm checking again. He's, <laughs> he's a little confused apparently, so my plan is working. back on me again so 100% he is definitely trying to get my loot and we can't be having that
now he's actually trying to close the gap and come out towards me because he thinks that I will not go towards the island, which is kind of what I want him to do. I want him to be close enough because my plan is that I'm going to go through that storm. I don't know if you've played this or not before, but storms are not good for your boat. They will help destroy it really quick. And when you are a solo, you're responsible for everything, the driving, the sails, the direction, the bailing, the boarding, you name it. So I want to keep heading towards that storm, just riding the outside of it until it gets close enough to me. forgot that some of these islands decide to stick out further than the actual landmass on top of the water. So I ended up getting a hole in my boat, ran down to fix it real quick, grabbed some more wood, gathered some water. Thought I had an empty bucket, but I didn't. Oh, you can see the lightning starting, so we're getting pretty close to the storm. Seas are going to get pretty rough. Close as I am to be behind me. Now it's time to activate my little plan and head right into the storm and take the storm all the way over to the island that I need to drop off the skull. And hopefully I can navigate through the storm better than he can or they can, whichever it is. One difficult part about riding through a storm as a solo is when you do let go of the wheel and you have to go down and fix the, the holes that the storm causes. Uh, the direction I used to my compass just goes wherever it wants. So I could be facing north, go down, fix one hole, come back, and I'm in the southeast. to navigate through the storm as I open my boat up too bad. Can't really fight against the storm or it will cause damage. But I just want to make sure that my trajectory is heading towards that island because that is the goal. That is where you have to turn it in. And I'm really hoping and praying that the other team is having a problem in the storm. He's giving me a bit of a head start towards it so I can jump off the boat and run before they're right, right on my ass. See, I was heading one way, now I'm heading the opposite. Now I'm gonna fight against it to turn around. backwards when I'm supposed to be going forwards. Mm -hmm. 
So I thought I was out of the storm, thought everything was good. I could see the island heading towards it. struck by lightning. So I put the fire out, put myself out, keep heading towards the island. I see the boat behind me. I know I gotta pull this off. So I'm gonna line myself up so that the boat misses the island and doesn't get a hole and it still allows me to jump off. should have uh, filled my health before I left the boat, but I'll take care of that here in a minute. I can hear them shooting, I can hear cannons. Take this time to grab some food real quick. that I have to hand it into. I'm not hearing no communication on this side. It must be on the other side. So now I'm gonna cut across. And now I get a bit of communication. I know I'm going the right way. Listen for the voice, find the pirate, get my 50K, kill the skeleton who's gonna chase me. Some ammo, and I can see one of them swag doing a little dance. A couple of pot shots. And there's another one in the background, and another one on the island. So it is definitely more than a solo. So now that that's taken care of, I uh, just want to do something else, cause some shit. I uh, should probably fix my boat first. Now that I got the boat all fixed, good to go. Distance. Yeah, let's go try to get me some. Try to fire off a couple of pot shots, hope for the best. No luck this time. Grab some more ammo, grab some cannonballs. Locking the sniping. Need to get more ammo. It's <laughs> still trying to snipe. up close and personal. So I hop out, grab my fire bombs, and light that bitch up. Try to grab some supplies. Supplies, torch the boat again. So 
heels and wear their thongs. Decided to cook some food. And that way it'll cause a fire once it burns. And went back to trying to take care of them. And I got killed. So, back on my boat. I can see the boat. So now I'm going to head towards it. I zoom in a bit just to see where they are. They're at a fortress. sailing, hit the fortress, can hear them fighting inside, can hear the end of the round, decide fuck it, I'm gonna steal their boat, thought I heard something trying to board, turns out it was a shark just close to the boat, so I'm out of there, got the boat, got whatever loot's on it, time to get the fuck out. Sure to do a little dance. I see my boat in the distance, so I figure I'll head that way. Go down, grab the boom boom, set off the boom boom, come back upstairs, start sinking the boat. At this point, I don't even really want the loot that's on the boat. I just don't want them to have it. Give them another little wave goodbye. See you, say goodbye to your loot. You don't to lose it. And that's the end of that boat. So I hop in the water, take the mermaid back to my boat. Take a look around. Now I gotta go back to the fortress. Adjust my brightness. So he starts shooting at me, so I know there's at least one there. Adjust my brightness again. Check for some loot. Lower the gate for the back door. Send the crates over. Try to figure out which one lowers them. There you go. Now I hear the footsteps, so I know they're somewhere close. I just don't know exactly where. Oh, he's right there. Cool. So, I'm almost dead some food. Now he's dead. Take a little soul in my bucket. 
eat some fruit. Check around for his partner. I'm assuming his partner has gone to get the boat and he was here to protect the loot. It didn't work out the way they planned, sadly. Well, sadly for them. I thought I had it lowered enough. Apparently I didn't have to lower it. So now I want to go get my boat, come back over here, harpoon all that loot, and go sell it. Because 100% they are on the way back here. So into the boat I go, fix my steering wheel, pull up to the back door, get myself in position. closest uh, port and sell everything I got. It's one last little wave. Thank you. And where am I going to go? Pretty much in the middle of two, so I'm already going that way. May as well go to Savior's outpost. And I get company again. So I'm going to make a quick work of this. So now I'm at the port and loading up all the loot and then all in one area that way I can just harpoon it off the, um, the sovereigns. It's been not a bad little adventure so far. Me against a bunch of teams but I'm used to that. I like that. I like the challenge. Stairs I go, grab the harpoon, start taking all that loot off the boat. Alright, that should be it. Drop down, and I just gotta sell it. Sold it all, stole it all, sold it all, got away with it, and we out. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.